What is up, my dudes? We have a boat! Everybody get hype. Everybody that's almost here. Um, if we have some stream problems, you're going to have to bear with me. We're supposed to accept, expect some type of snowstorm soon. I don't know. It's, it's Michigan's last FU to... Uh, yeah, that's what it likes to do. So, as soon as you think it's spring, it's not. Well, we got a boat. We're going to be doing 5% on the windshield. This guy, this, this thing, and it goes like this. Boat stream. <laughs> so, welcome, y'all. Uh, we're going to be doing five on those three pieces of glass. It's not something I've really done much of before. I've tinted at most two, two that I can remember. Um, nothing quite like this, though. The boats that I've done have had areas to tuck in the film. To tuck in the film. This one does not really. So what we're going to do is we're going to trim a little bit of that seal. And we're going to try and guesstimate our cuts because the outside surface area is bigger than the inside. Those of you that paid attention in math class or geometry. So you don't exactly know where to leave it on the outside to the inside, but you just do your best guesstimations and then run in some issues and try it again. I'm fairly sure I have to do a pretty big roll too as well. I don't think I'm going to get away with a 24, but I'm going to check ahead of time by just throwing it up there and seeing and crossing my fingers. But I bet you the way that that curve is going to happen, it's not going to let it. People are hyped for the boat. Yeah, so I went to start the boat stream, and my internet's like, no. And I'm like, come on, please, let me plan something. Because I swear to God, as soon as I try and plan some of these streams, my internet just, like, the weather changes, and then it just kills everything. So it's been consistent so far. We've dropped the KBs a little bit, but... You're going to need a 40? I don't have a 40. I have a 36. Is that going to be a problem? We'll see. I, I, I have five in carbon if I have to. So I guess. I don't know. Let's, I guess, make this happen. So we changed our blades. That's good. Sean says we're going to need a 40. Sean, if you cursed my whole stream today. It's going to be a permaban. Boats and hose. <laughs> Boats and coffee. Thank you. All right. So let's get this GoPro going. All this, this mess. I hope 36 works. Mine was 40 and just barely works. Oh boy. Oh boy. You know that one thing that you didn't really think of that would be an issue and, and then all of a sudden it becomes an issue? That was, that was the size of the roll right there. But I do have 40s in carbon, so maybe we'll just do carbon. Lord knows we charged enough for it. You can do it with a 36 easier than 40. Hmm, interesting. So I guess we're gonna have to have a little poll in the chat, right? Which is gonna fit. All right, one second. That. How much did we charge? We charged 450 for this one. So I said, I don't usually do boats. This is a, a good client of mine anyways. He's a nice guy. But I, set, I gave him every out possible. I was like, I don't typically do boats, and I'm really busy right now. So if you want me to do it, 
I'll try to get it in, uh, drop it off for like a week, and then we'll see what happens. And here we are! He's like, when can I drop it off? And I'm like, fuck. Good deal. We got a camera? All right, let's get started. This is a boat. I don't know what kind of boat it is, but it's got some old graphics on it that he wants to replace. Um. <laughs> Everybody is debating on the roll size right now. Boat sizes, boats are deceiving. Yeah, I, I can see why. Like, because you would think maybe a 24 would just wrap around that, but it's going to go like a... I've been doing this long enough. I know what it's going to do. I was just crossing my fingers to maybe 24, but it sounds like we're just going to have to go straight to 36 or 40. The question is, oh, isn't this so nice? These are so nice. The question is... What is going to fit? Look at that non-compound curve. No glass aid on here. Just good old, let's line it up and see what happens. I don't even think I'm going to do, excuse me, any type of dry shrinking on it. I think I'm just going to spray it, put the film on. And then let's see what happens. Okay, so this, what is this? This is a short five. Am I almost out? Okay, let's just see what this does, right? Yeah, that's what I figured. So you need long enough to basically go whoosh, right? Or you could put it like that. But I think we'll get by with a 36. If I had to guess, we'll get by with a 36, but we'll see. If you want a couple more boats, I have a... <laughs> I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> All right, where's my five? That's this one. That's also this one. How much do we have left? We're running out. That's kind of scary. No problem. It's easy. Everybody said, take it out, they said. It's really funny, though, to, like, hear the conflicting opinions of everybody. Because I got some people that are like, oh, yeah, no problem. And I get some people that are like, oh. You know what I mean? So there's just a lot. So we're going to try and get away with Pro Classic. We're going to see what happens. I, it's looking like this is going to work. 36. I got film on my boat. So what we're going to look for is just how badly this curves. I want to see how straight I can make this roll too before I commit to anything. Because if we're going to be shrinking, it's going to kind of be like up this way. So that should be that way. And how much did you charge? Uh, 450. Which tint is the best to buy? Which ceramic tint on Amazon or eBay? I wouldn't. I have no idea, honestly. Um, the problem with budget options is, uh, which is usually what litters Amazon and eBay, um, is gonna be haze. Yeah, come on, I just need this little bit here. You know, I got some Moto Shield. I haven't tested it yet, but I have it. They do fancy as fuck boxing, though. <laughs> they put like a box in a box in a box. 
they have the unboxing experience down. But as far as what's in the nice fancy box for $20, I don't know. Okie doke. So what do we do here? Sounds like a good brand. Well, you know, if it sounds like a good brand, that probably means it is. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's put a little cut here. So part of why this looks weird right now is I need to just butt these up to my edges. I guess I'll probably do that and then rearrange it for like a final trim or something like that. Because if I cut here, it's gonna take it off this ridge and then it's gonna lay flat. Well, as flat as you can expect. We are doing not ceramic, we're doing color stable. I'm trying to get this to lay as flat as I can while I do these cuts, but it's just butting up too much. Maybe tin in an airplane? No. There's a... There's a lot of a lot of issues with tinning an aircraft actually. Airplanes should never be tinted. Well, you could probably do like the side windows and stuff. But they're um yeah, like somebody said, they're not glass, they're plexi. So you'd have to put something over it. And also there's a lot of like FAA regulations. So, technically, it's considered an alteration. And if you're altering the vehicle, the aircraft, uh, you need some type of approval that that film has been approved for that particular aircraft. So, you could just do it. But you could be horrifically responsible for shit if something happens. The aviation industry is pretty strict on all that, for good reason. But that's one reason I didn't actually go into it. Probably 70%? No, it has nothing to do with percentage. It has more to do with like, is this aircraft worthy or not? And if it hasn't been, like, by thoroughly tested, I mean, they're going to put it on the plane, and they're going to they're gonna run tests. And whoever, you, basically, you have to um, pay for the testing and then have it approved by the FAA. Like, it's a huge undertaking to get anything approved for any aircraft vehicle. But the cool thing is, little little fun fact, once you get the approval, you own the rights to that getting that alteration in a way. So you get royalties off of everybody that does the same thing. Okay. Well, we got a rough cutout so far. Very little shrinking actually needs to be done. And you can see, as this laid down here, now it overlaps where I cut it down here. So this is where I'm gonna wanna cut beforehand. Guys, I'm not really fond of this right now.
I know, I could have just said no, I don't do aircrafts, but. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually like, I went to aviation mechanics school. There's actually a whole hell of a lot to the whole industry. So what do we do about this? It's got some shrink, but I'm not exactly gonna be able to snap shrink it, and I hate when they butt up like that. So I almost think I'm gonna shift it up and then shrink it, and then pull it back down and then shrink the other side. This is all our excess so far. You went to aviation school? Yeah, it was uh, called MIAT, Michigan Institute of Aviation and Technology. It was in Bellevue, Belleville? Belleville at the time. I moved to Canton. I was sad because they had a, a pretty lame hanger. And then it got cool. <laughs> it got cool when I left because they moved the whole thing. Oh, God. No, so the whole aviation thing was like I didn't know what to do out of school. So we went there. It was like a 20-month course. They said, it, you get paid well. I was like, cool. I don't know what else to do. God damn it. This is really frustrating right now. I was hoping I'd be able to just pick it up a little bit, but the way that that curves, it's not exactly making it super friendly to get any of this laid down. How do you shrink a boat? It's got to be shrunk, for sure. <laughs> it looks like you confused as fuck. Uh, yeah, because I'm not exactly sure what to do here. I'm thinking about it, formulating any type of a plan. So I could just shrink these individual fingers. What I don't like is it's right up against where a lot of water pulls up. It's right against this, uh, this edge here. So I was, I was hoping was to free it up from the bottom a little bit so you could get a nice flat shrink. Um, but we're gonna have to trim it up a little bit anyways. So which way do we shift it? That's the question, because I don't think I'm gonna put it in exactly like this. I think I'm going to shift it a little bit because when it wraps around this curve on the inside, it's gonna be a little bit wider on the inside than the outside. So I suppose why don't I put it on a peel board and cut the other side? In theory, it's, I see what you, like I tried that. I tried to overlap it a little bit, but it's being kind of a pain because I want it to lay flatter. Um, pull it this way, get a little gap there. I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring it down just a hair, and then we're gonna trim it, and then it'll give us our extra. This is gonna be wider on the inside anyways. Whoa! Let's, uh, let's not do that now, shall we? Let's just be real smooth about it. Glad to finally catch a life. <laughs> I'm trying to, <laughs> this is like, 
having a bunch of gnats in your face. I'm trying to shrink it in two parts. So we're getting some of it ready first, and then we'll do the rest of it. So it's where we're going to size it up. So I could kind of shrink it like this, and I could shrink some of this top, but I, we're going to trim it. So how long will it take? As long as it takes. I, I have absolutely no idea right now. This is not something I do. This is something I get pestered about, and then I'm like, eh, screw it. So you guys are in for a treat of some type, I don't know. Let's put that on it. I like that. Okay, there's that. We're gonna keep going. Have you ever seen a semi? Mm-hmm, I've done a lot more semis. I'm not super fond of those either, but those are at least like a little bit more straightforward. <laughs> the love boat. No, this is gonna be the tent boat. That didn't exactly trim the way we thought it would. All right, that's what we're gonna do. We're like a little bit here. So I'm going to trim this curve just a little bit. Like I said, when this goes on the inside, this is going to la this is going to fill in a lot more of these of this gap all the way around. Might still have like a little bit, but we're going to try and put this balance of small gap Minimize it as much as we can and tuck what we can into the little seal here. Super chat. Who was that? Let me cut this. So this will tell me also a lot about what to expect. So we might have to do this more than once. It's kind of a way for me to like size it up. Just doing like a little sixteenth on here. Might have to hop in here.
<laughs> There's a good question. How'd you get the boat in the corner? Uh, I pushed it. It was over there, and I just pushed it around the shop. It wasn't exactly the easiest thing to do, but we did it. Is this something you could trim the seals? Yes, yes you could. So I'm going to trim them a little bit on the inside, but I don't know how much this is gonna overlap the inside, especially if I keep everything like exactly where it is. So we've got a little bit around it. Good deal. All right. Now we got to shrink it. We can square off a corner first. Wondering how it's going to hold up in salty water. We don't have salty water here. We got fresh water. I wish we had salty water. But we're not. <laughs> We're not uh, quite set up for that. We've got what are called the lakes. But, that being said, that being said, um, there's a lot of people that get their boats tinted down in Florida. So you can ask Florida tinters how that works out for them. I'd imagine it's fine. Super chat. Oh, we got two of them. I'm going to take a rough guess and say I overestimated my cut, but we're going to see what it looks like. If we redo it, that's fine. That's what we set the stream up for. Sub sub with a five. Thank you. I appreciate it. Then... Panos, greetings from Greece. Hey man, how you doing? Thank you so much for the five. And then Wildcard coming in with another five. <laughs> Rock that little dinghy. If you want, I'll bring my 38 fountain and you got room, you can stream that for fun. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I think I'm good with this one right now. I'm in Tampa and there's no issue with salt water and tint. Well, you heard it there. It's a okay. Yeah, I think we're going to be a little bit shy on our edges, especially on this top. But that's okay. That's what we learn. Just say yes and it's on the way. <laughs> it's gonna be a it's gonna be a no. No, we're not gonna fit it on the inside. We're just gonna go for it. I always have bad luck with like pre-fitting a window of this size. It's better off just go for it, save some time. It's actually like a little bit more shrinking to do. Oh shit, that's wrong too, isn't it? Because this goes around. So all my fingers need to be directed this way. That is actually not okay. So like all this, 
This will shrink out. But I gotta be careful, even though it's vertical, the roll is this way. So anytime you're going this way, I'm gonna try and trim out some of the inside. And then we're gonna maybe go again. We'll see how this one fits. But I'm more inclined to think we're gonna redo this one and then I'm gonna have some extra trimmed out on the inside. And then we're gonna be able to just trim it exact and stuff it in. I might have overthought the, what I have to do on the outside, but it reminds me a lot of like old cars. So on old cars, like when you shrink that back, or like when you tint that back window and you don't have anywhere to tuck the film, they always mess up a little bit on the inside. You need 40 to have them on the bottom? Ah, okay. Well, there we go. That at least explains it a little bit more, because before I thought it was really just to cover it. I don't remember anybody saying anything about shrinking it. Start with that next time. But we put a little bit of a snap here, so we're going to finish it off here, and that pulled a lot of everything over here, so we might be okay. Get that flat. Yeah, it's really doesn't look bad right now. And then scoot all that over. And as long as we're mostly laying flat, because um, that is kind of what you would want to see. Maybe one little guy like right there. So we'll just warp it a little bit, snap whichever direction that it wants to go as long as it shrinks up a little in that section. have this gut feeling now about the way that I cut it. Probably a little much. But we'll see. We'll see where it lines up. For all this, that's going to lay down. Except for right there. That's not great. That's not what you want to see. Got to get it to pull a certain way. Did you buy Dogecoin? <laughs> No, I kind of just got. So how do we get that out? I know this is wrong here. Maybe we can get it to do something. Dogecoin, I was really surprised with like, there was like a guide on how to buy it. And I'm like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> so it like had that spike from like the low lows to like when Elon tweeted about it to eight and then it dropped off to like three. And at three I was like, all right, now it's a good buy. Okay, we're gonna move this up now. I just made a chunk off a of doge I've been in since February. Ooh, you got in good. I'm, I'm pretty like, I don't like chasing anything and <laughs> I think I'm with a lot of people in 
Uh, I there's it's just a it's just a meme, but a lot of meme things are making hype runs right now. So it's just kind of like you place your bet, and whatever works out best. <laughs> Good luck. Ooh, there's like this little crevice here. That's nice. I could cover some of this up. Where's my tool belt? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's gonna be a little slim there for my liking. But we'll we'll try and trim it out a little bit. And we'll line it up and see what we get. Better to screw it up and learn something than just rip it off. You know what I mean? Sometimes you need that sacrificial piece of film. You'll learn way more. The more mistakes you make, you'll be afraid to screw up too much. Sucks that it cost you money, but well, that's kind of nice. That tucked in there. I wish we brought up our sprayer because I think we abandoned that one. So what do we need? Probably need a sprayer. Probably need a razor. Um, we need something to clean, probably a clay bar too. I feel weird like stepping on everything with my shoes, but it's not exactly the cleanest of boats. So like I want to go back and forth from like socks to shoes, but I don't think I'll care. Pull up a couple towels. Let's grab a couple razors. What do we need? Sprayer. <laughs> You probably don't need to worry about electronics since it's a boat. It's <laughs> you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna still be a little careful on anything that you do. Just because it's a boat made for the water doesn't mean that you can submerge it. But some of the things are gonna be like a little bit safer than a car as far as water goes. So we're still gonna cover all this because we can, right? Ew. <laughs> Oh my god. I am so sorry about this towel right now. But we are going to leave guck all over it. Looks like. Yeah, we'll definitely clay bar it. But look at that. That's the shit, that's the shit that builds up over the years. Don't exactly know what it is, but we don't want it in our film. Just think of all that that gets trapped in there. That's one reason shit like this is more expensive. So it's gonna be really dirty. And then you have nowhere to tuck the film. So.
but it's got lots of defects on the outside. So, you know, if this thing isn't absolutely perfect, we'll be okay. What we definitely want to do as good of a job as we possibly can. Chat, how much do we charge for this job? Hi, and how much would you charge for this job? Thanks, guys. What would you guys mostly charge for it? I mean, I'm, I am pretty curious. Three? <laughs> your friends do it for free. Shouldn't you want to support your friend? Last boat I did was six. Very nice. Four, five. No carbon. <laughs> I charge six and have somebody else do it. My man. True business owner right there. All right, that's feeling pretty clean. Why is it that friends want the best deals? Well, because they get, it's like that exclusive hookup. Like, I know the guy that does it. That's why. Ow. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm wondering if I actually have to trim this. I probably should, but. Mmm. This is not in my wheelhouse, so we went 450. But it to me it's it also depends. Oh my god. Yeah, good stuff. So, like, if you have the ability to, to hook them up, and me, I turned it into, like, a little hangout. So that was fun. But it was only, like, a couple doors. You want to talk about, like, full cars and shit? We're going to have to figure something else out. <laughs> Clean it again and again and again. Yeah, no shit, right? Oh, it's so weird even squeegeeing it. That wrap. Okay. <laughs> that is too weird for me. Just the little things like wrapping this whole thing. Oh my God, it goes so far. I guess it comes down to if you expecting a deal, you're going to have a harder time getting a deal. Because nobody likes 
somebody to kind of just expect it, right? We all like helping our people out, right? But when that stuff turns into something that's just like Oh boy. How do we pick this up? Do it do I tint do I do tint removals? Yeah, but right now they're more expensive. Generally speaking. Cause tint removals will take more time. Oh god. There's so many. So many little issues. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just hop over there. Hop over there. No! Oh my god, this is worse than shrinking it! Fuck me. I should have rolled this shit. <laughs> Alright, so now you know what to do and what not to do. Mostly what not to do right now. I would have cow rolled it. Yeah, you know, I save that for windshields. You guys want a boat stream? I didn't want a boat stream. I just had a lot of requests for it. <laughs> like a 62. <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> like I get a bunch of 62 Corvairs here. See that overlap I was talking about? Where are we on the bottom? A little bit there. A little bit on the top. Because there's not much curve here. It's mostly in the corners. Watching you struggle makes everybody happy. <laughs> About their own? Yeah, probably. It's all good. You guys, yeah, you guys don't see a whole lot of the bad, bad that happens. It's not that I save the easy stuff for stream. I've done some things where I've messed up pretty horribly on stream. It's just, depends on what I feel like taking on. So a lot of this I tend to shy away from because I can make more money by not fucking around with something like this. Where's my... Hmm, there we go. That's what I want. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I'm just... It's not that I don't like a challenge. It's that I like to know that the challenge I'm taking on isn't going to be a huge pain in the dick. Hmm. I'm, uh, I'm on the fence here. So this is being a little bit long. I think I got to trim just that. It's pretty clean though. So let me, let me see if I can trim this. Because if I can trim this, the rest of it will lay down here. I'm leaning towards just redoing it. A mean green jelly bean. Come on. It's not. Do you guys hate that? When you go to try and. There we go. You try and get that tool below a rubber seal, and then the tool just wants to butt up right against it, so you have this like limbo phase. That's what was just happening. What if I don't want to go on the boat though? <laughs> what if I'm like, I'm good, I'm, I don't need a boat ride. <laughs> Pull it off and redo it. <laughs> Hang on. I want to go over it. So we're mostly there. So can we tin it? Yes, we can. What, what can we improve? Well, we have a little gap. And that, I would say, is like the biggest thing that I don't like. Everything else actually looks pretty good. So I can heat this and get this to lay down. It's a little curved. This seal is so wavy, though. There's not much trash. For as much as I soaked it down, it's actually really stupid clean. Um, my biggest gripe is like some of these, this kind of gap that goes along the bottom and the top here. So if you're sitting in here, the bottom, oh, actually it's fine, you don't see any of that shit. Not unless you're looking for it. Hmm. It'd be a personal thing if I just get rid of it. Because I think he'd take it. I think he'd be okay with this. I honestly do. So I'm conflicted. cut out a piece of tin to cover the light gap. And then I think this is the other frustrating part that I didn't really think was going to be that frustrating. So it flipped up on me. And then I tried to trim it out, but it also trimmed the rubber a little bit. One eighth inch black tape. Oh, on like the outside? I guess I'd be interested to do like a, a caulking on the inside. That's also the other thing. You could do something like that. I wanna... The other looming thing is if we do a... <laughs> if we do the second one and go a little bit more ambitious, how more shitty is it going to be? Is it going to suck? I just need it to tuck here. I have white pinstriping. I could glass aid the whole thing. <laughs> T 
See, that wouldn't be a bad idea at all, taking like a thin bead of like urethane or something, going around the whole thing. Thinking, thinking. I also need to find my, I didn't bring it up here. It fell out somewhere. So let me, let me hop off the boat here. So shrink that. You can't see it. It's that dead on angle. Here it all looks great. A little bit of dirt here now. Hmm. It's such a chore to get to this point too. I think it's a good install too. That's why we're doing this. <laughs> we're gonna adjust it. So let me check how exactly much I have left. It's not bad. It wasn't bad. It just could be better. If this was a project where I was somewhere else, I'd probably say, eh. <laughs> we're learning, we're having fun, and we're going to redo this. I just like hearing all the, the comments as I pull it off. It was kind of just like, I'd leave it. it. Looks pretty good. And I'd tell myself the same thing. And then I removed it, so like, here we are. Let's make it look a little bit better. So the areas that I really want to try and improve on is this corner and the top and bottom gaps, which just shouldn't have been there. The rest of it was good. And I think I can get there again. Whoever called this cake, I would like to have a word with. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call this cake. I would call this a project. It's all good, though. We gotta try and shrink it like we did before too. <laughs> we do good work here, boys. Hundred, hundred percent. There's, you know what's really confusing? There's a sock there, and it's the same type of socks I have. So I'm wondering if I like had a sock with like my rags or something, and I left it in the boat. I don't know. Oh, here it is. I was looking for this guy. Shrink first, then cut on the inside? No, thank you. Ooh, we got a super chat. How about that? <laughs> Sean Gavin with the two. Hell yeah, Matt. <laughs> inside, I'm, I'm like, no. GME to the moon. Let's go. Where did my other knife go? I've, it fell. It fell somewhere. So I'm going to change the blade out of this one. I got to do this again. I'm not exactly excited for that part either. I'm a pussy. I just turned a boat down, bro. I've done. I've I've turned down so many. You 
You will not get any shit from me about ever turning down something that you just don't feel comfortable with. Cut inside with the liner. Ooh, that's actually interesting. That's probably smarter. Mmm. Yeah, that's smart. That's smart to do liner on the inside. Finally made it to a stream. <laughs> I'm glad you could tune in for one of the most frustrating streams that I'm ever going to have. The moon. Did you guys ever see... Oh, there's this game. There's this really funny game. It's totally off track. It was a space game. A really lame one. It was by NASA made it, and text-to-speech was on. So whenever, like, people were just doing, like, text-to-speech memes the whole time. It was so funny. To the moon. LOL. Moonbase Alpha. That's what it was called. If you guys ever look up those videos, it was really, really funny. So many opinions about the boat. Y'all can come tint this one. Better cut on the inside? I agree, there would be. Tricky part is cutting it on the inside. So. There's a... Uh, <laughs> this is this is one of those things where I'm playing around with it. We're figuring it out, and there's definitely better ways to do this. Um, what's interesting, though, is nobody has boat videos. So why don't y'all... Why don't y'all get on that whole content train? Make a video. Look at how funky this is. No, I appreciate it. It's good. Just want to take a second and appreciate. <laughs> I don't want no back talk. <laughs> You'll get some back talk today. Holy shit. I'm here doing the boat. There should be. There should be more videos of boats. Architectural, too. All right, that's looking pretty good. Um, what happened to the first one? It wasn't bad, but we can do better. I charged with Bitcoin. <laughs> Go make boat videos so Matt can judge. It's all good. No warranty. Please. 
Definitely warranties. Warranties on everything. Super chat. We're using Pro Classic. We charged 450. Should we have charged more? Maybe. Should we do this differently? Possibly. All right. Ooh. Anyone can't make tint look good on camera? Of course they can. Uh, Joey! That, that's what I was distracted with. Joey with the five. Whose boat is that? <laughs> it's a good client of mine. Oh my god, it's his! Guys, he's in chat. You can talk to him. Now we can't talk shit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this isn't going great. It's not horrible, but you know, we got some issues to sort through. We're not having fun today. We are. We're having so much fun. <laughs> we'll make it happen, Captain. The Captain is here. It's not me. I'm not the Captain. I'm just a lowly ship hand. They're trying to tell me how to tint your boat. And I said, nah, I'm going to do it this way. If you're not using Gila. <laughs> Captain, is that your sock? Actually, that's a good question. There's a sock in there, and it looks just like mine, so it either fell in with my laundry, and it, it was like in a rag or something, or it's actually somebody else's sock that's on the boat. <laughs> that's, that's the real question that chat has. So most of the shrinking we can do right in here. How did we do this the first time? I don't remember. Now we're gonna fit right. I know, I think that is one of the most hammered points that I had at the beginning was that the curve on the outside is different from the inside. I get it. I've t believe it or not, I've I've actually tinted some cars before. I I understand there's definitely a difference here. And we installed it once. And we learned about that difference a little bit more. Yes. 
Yes, we did. We pulled it. We pulled it because it was okay, but it could be more okay. You know what I mean? Sunroofs exploding? That's kind of a meme. Uh, it, 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 yeah, it's possible it could happen, but it just doesn't. I don't know. I don't know how that even became much of a thing. I would tint a sunroof, just most people don't get them tinted. Most are factory tinted, and they still like to see out of them. A little bit. So, some like ceramic or something is good on it. Every once in a while they'll do limo on it. So, I don't know. Look at that. Look at that wave. Don't want to crease it. For some reason, customers ask if their sunroof is going to break. That's weird. I don't know how that became some of the thing. It's kind of like all the metallic issues. Plotter is best friend for sunroof. Oh yeah, for sure. Same thing with back windows. Same thing with uh, truck sliders. Like, that's where you really. That's where you really catch up with plotters. The front doors, it's, it's just like, you'll have some gaps sometimes, and then the top seal. Or the top, top edge. I'm like half listening to you guys, and most of my attention is on what I'm trying to do here. So... We're doing pretty good here. Gonna see how this falls and then make any adjustments that we need to. But if there's a slight edge on the bottom. So what's gonna happen here is that it's gonna wrap around and it's gonna overlap top to bottom. I don't see why there wouldn't be boat templates. Supply and demand. If there's enough people asking for them and they see enough money there, they'll make it happen. But you got a long history of boats not being supported. So really, if you're gonna pay 150 bucks for the software now when they don't have boats, why would they add them? They'd have to be extra. Unless somebody wants to take some market share. Okay, I think I'm gonna curl this just a hair. there. We had just a little bit of a not fun edge, so we're going to fix it here. That should be better. Hopefully we didn't just over curl it, because that will be really sad if that happened. Maybe there too. Look at that big old boat windshield.
Baby powder or pledge? I don't know. I don't got a good answer for you on that one. <laughs> I don't understand why people want to watch video games, but not tinting. <laughs> I think there's this strong relatable factor. There's like intrigue to know how it's done, but it's not that exciting to watch for the average person. And then same thing for uh, for like video games. It's like anybody can pick it up and play it. And then when you have a good entertainer, it's fun. And you want to watch somebody that's good at your game or very entertaining. And they turn it into like a hangout. What's a good way to get rid of hard water spots? Chat, what's a good way to get rid of hard water spots? I've heard some simple stuff, like you can go get plumbing cleaner. All right, which way should we go? Or drain cleaner. Um, which way should we go? Should we go from that side to that side or that side to that side? Probably that side to that side. So we're going to start rolling it up this way. Sorry, I don't want to just recommend like a plumbing cleaner, but it's just like if you need something that's close and convenient. <laughs> Big that side to that side. Sounds good. Aw, LKB. <laughs> oh, you guys are great. LKB, okay, thank you for the two. All right. Ship posting awards to the people that said that side to that side. You guys are the best. <laughs> See, those are the ship posts that I really like. You guys could dog me about trying to install this all you want. And it's just kind of like, ah, oh, whatever. Come, come try and do this yourself or whatever. <laughs> Make a video of it. I don't care. But the true, the true mastery is in the shit posts that are like <laughs> that side to that side. <laughs> yeah, should we do this side to that side or that side to that side? Hmm. Trim, trim, trim. Can we trim this a little bit? Just a hair. Thank you for the super chat. I don't know who's, who did it, but thank you. We're GoPro. <laughs> God, it does it. It does it too. Oh, there we go. See? There we go. There, now we're getting these fun little things falling down. All right, since we already squeegeed this off a bunch, we'll just do it the once. It turned out surprisingly clean. You could hit thumbs up three times, but it all equates to the same. If you do it an even amount of times, though, it's all for naught. All right. Brian Silva with the five. Thank you. Okay, part two. Let's see how much easier it is to do this than what we did earlier. Because we frankied the whole thing.
So I think if you had a couple people, you could do it okay. But since we're all by our lonesome, That side to that side. Absolutely. Stop sliding. Already better except for one spot that I wanna prevent here. Reverse roll is the way to go. Saw here. Can we tuck this? That would be interesting. Ooh, that's so far. So far. Hmm. Okay. So we're pretty good. Let's go this way and then we're gonna finish it off there. So with the reverse roll, yeah, like some, ah, fuck. You guys, I felt that, I felt that. The little squiggle, squiggle magoo here got stuck. Of course it is, right? No! So, Little cut from the uh, from the rubber got stuck here. Okay, there we go. Somehow we picked up some shit. That is obnoxious. Of course it's like one of the most obvious fuck up things too. So it was just, I mean it's okay. It came out clean, or at least that spot, but I don't like that we had to pull it back, obviously. That's really not fun. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna trim it, ah. This is what we're gonna do. My man, I'm smart, here we go. We're gonna overlap and we're gonna trim it off like that. That's how we're handling this. We should be much better and much happier as long as everything lays down. Because this is easily accessible and you could trim it off straight up. So get your corner in, follow that edge up, hack it off there, call it a day. Cake. <laughs> Although, if somebody could get me a fucking tool that does that, that would be great. Because you just need to like sneak it in the seal. And as long as you can sneak it in the seal, everything starts to lay down. I think we're a little over curled there though. That's all right. 
We'll get it. Yay! <laughs> you guys. Yep, little, little extra curves there. That's okay. I think we can fix that. Finally, he listened. Oh, did somebody tell me that? You guys didn't tell me that. <laughs> There's gonna be somebody that's like, I told you that the whole fucking time. When he peeled it back for the squiggly, how do you do that cleanly? Oh, this guy? Well, so the squiggly, when you have something that's buried in the film, water is your friend. So you're going to want to fire hose that bitch. Peel it back lightly, fire hose it, and then cross your fingers. There is no, oh, it's for sure going to turn out great. There's always that little, like, But could we tuck it? No, we're not gonna risk it. I'm actually really nervous about this part. The fire hose. That's why you get a sink keg. You ain't gonna do that with a little wimpy poly too. Blast the bitch. Okay. Just a little bit. Stupid fucking rubber, man. Then you gotta do... Look at that! I hate it! Just give me that little sneak. There we go. Peel back your tissue seal. Squeegee down. Alright. We're making progress. Blast the bitch. Okay. Sorry. We're evaluating. Shank? Shank's not gonna be the best solution for this. The shank's got a blunt end. You need something that isn't so blunt. Oh no. I think we got a... I think we got a gap. Fuck me. Did we do the gap? No! We got a little gap. Fuck me. Ugh. Damn it. We got a gap there, boys. GoPro. Fuck. 
What do we do? <sighs> mm, what time is it? All right, I'm thinking. So this actually went well, well-er, more better, no gaps. Maybe one teeny tiny little one there, teeny tiny little one there. This is good. That's not so good. Eight o'clock. <laughs> I hear you guys. Well, we got it. We got it mostly on. This is a little bit curved here. Yeah. All right, one more time. Okay. Deep breath. Just sent it. <laughs> mm hmm. Here we go. I'm less upset about redoing the film, and I think more upset about losing the time. <laughs> Super chat. Oh, fuck, my eyes need to be better. All right, we're gonna do it one more time. So, what was frustrating was that the top was good, halfway down was bad. Trim first. Brian, you got this boy. We'll get it. We're getting closer. Where's my knife? I think what hurts most is like hopping in and out. I think we lost the first knife on the first tint and the second knife we lost on the second piece. So where is it? It's gotta be somewhere. Tell the customer somebody stole it. He's in chat! Or at least he was. I'm tired. I'm tired with jumping up and down on a boat. Okay. Why did you take it off? It was perfect. Ah, uh, sadly, no. Uh-oh. Hey, one second. Hello? Just go home, then you can do it next time. I gotta get it done. Okay, bye-bye now. All right. <laughs> Joey Montana, buddy is hammered half the time I'm driving. This thing don't mind a small gap. Do the best you can. <laughs> Guys, that's the, that's the client right there. We're going to do the best we can. So what, whatever we get on this one will probably be good.
It's all good, guys. So one of the reasons why this is actually more okay with me is like the time, eh, yeah, I got other stuff, but we're gonna make sure this looks good and I get to stream it. So hey, whatever we run into on this, it's fine. We'll be good. We're going to make it look as best as we can. Use some vertical relief cuts. I'm worried I'm going to go too far, and I'm going to put tension on it, and then it's just going to fuck it up. So, really, we create a gap here, and then we can go along the whole thing. It's just how much of a gap do we create here? I'm not sure, but I think that's probably pretty good. That's where the space, cut the rest, shift it over. I'm going to say about there. I think we can do good with that. Oh, he's getting lots of love in chat. <laughs> Boats and hoes. <laughs> I know that, that tone of Filipino speaking. Yeah, that was my wife. She's, uh, she's trying to put some sanity into me. <laughs> and I'm being stubborn. Because it is late, but we fitting this into the schedule? Because I don't have much other time. Like, I think the next day I could do this is Wednesday, but I got a bunch of car. I got, like, other s stuff that's going to take more time than today on Wednesday. So I would much rather get this done tonight. Step Brothers was a great movie. M a lot of Will Ferrell movies were... Captain's hat. Maybe that's that would have been the key. Am I doing it a third time? <laughs> what? What? Should have got a captain's hat. <laughs> That's the struggle. Out of all the things, it's no captain's hat, no tinty. That's how this is working. On average, it takes me 10 hours to do a boat. Whew. I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot about boats. Yeah, I know. I still got the passenger side. As weird as that is, because that's the other side. This to me is a lot like the Model 3 that we did. It's just, it's, it's time consuming. And 
This is a little bit more challenging with the film that we're gonna use, but. Yep, don't over shrink the curve, noted. We did it the first time, we did it the second time. It needs a little bit, because I would need it to lay down. All right, we'll make it happen, Captain. Listening to you guys has been more entertaining. Pulling the window. If you have help, I heard, it's easier to do. Um, But what I was curious about was the, um, if I remove the top frame, is it a big pain in the ass to try and put the top frame, slide it over the glass? Because that would have made it a little bit easier too. Without, without help pulling, it's a bitch. <laughs> That's why we didn't do that. All right. This isn't worse than the shit. <laughs> How about the time I did the windshield three times? I'm really wondering how much five I'm gonna have for tomorrow. Cause I gotta order some. Using the Hero 8 or the Hero 9? I'm using the 8 still. To be honest, it was I got the nine. I was so excited about the nine. Unfortunately, the nine has a bigger sensor, but that means it's got it's this like it's got more pixels, but it's like roughly the same size. So it didn't actually look better in the studio. It looked worse. The eight was better in low light, lower light for streaming and stuff. What are you tinning tomorrow? I don't know. I got a regular. I got regular work tomorrow. Okay. So recovery is quicker, right? So we kind of figured out what we're looking for, what we're doing. Unfortunately, it's going to be so long before I get some type of another boat. Well, I mean, good and bad, right? I don't really want to do another boat. But if I get another boat, I could get to this step really quickly in comparison to when we first started. Because we first messed around with it for a little while. And then second, fucked it up. Are you still, what? You still friends with Patrick? Or you're still close? I haven't talked to him in a little bit. I gotta call him. I've been meaning to. So, should be pretty good. Alright, so we gotta roll it this side to that side, right? Is this backward? No, it's not. Oh, okay. I'm crazy. Last time it was upside down. That's why. That's why I was confused. Last time we had it like this. Look at that. That looks cool. It's that side to that side. You know how it is.
It's a shame we have more than one. <laughs> it's gonna be a late night. Um, I still cover uh, for a glass shop in the area. Symbol, Symbol Auto Glass. They're good people over there. So I actually, this is kind of like a shout out. Um, I actually need to replace myself there because I don't just want to leave them. So I'd be okay with dropping them entirely and letting somebody take over. They're a good account. I just don't think I have anybody to take the spot, so. So we're gonna do the long side first again. That went really well, but in order to do that, we gotta roll up this, oh my God. We gotta roll up this side first. Just kinda going all over the place though. There we go. Better, 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 better. Yeah, there we go. Let's hop on up here. How do we get up here again? Do we have everything? I think so. It's definitely cleaned enough. We fire hosed it enough. Do you think, ew, look at this towel, fuck. I feel bad. <laughs> That's why I didn't use my other uh, Korea Tinter towel. I knew it was gonna get filthy. I'm like, this is like a collector's item. So I kept it. And I didn't use it. Put it in a lock box. All right, boys. Round three. What? My Filipina woman just called? Uh, we're definitely gonna try to finish it today. Although, maybe we'll just, I don't know. I'm like on the fence right now. I don't want this to... There we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, this is pretty good. We're liking this. Dang! Oh, shit. Oh, maybe, maybe. That, that, that's how you, you fucking do it. All right, note for next time. You can cut it off there, but if you can guesstimate the length, um, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Whoa. 
We're not there yet, but it's better. Where's my, where's my mean green? Oh, okay, got it. So it slides a little bit into this spot, on this particular one anyways. And, but the, so one of the biggest questions I had was like, how do you cut out this whole shape? Right, like it's gonna be long on the inside, uh, short, like whatever you cut on the inside, it, there's that, that glass thickness difference. So the surface area on the inside is, is different, like we talked about, and like people have said in chat, I know. But, how different? And what's the best way to compensate for that? So, what I thought was I originally cut a whole trail along the bottom, which just took forever and didn't line up very well. But this time around and last time around, this all slides in here and then it overlaps here almost perfectly. So you cut this side short, cut everything else exact, or you just let it overlap and then cut it on the inside. But cutting it on the inside sucks. And you guys saw why. Or it can, so just practice. There's a lot at stake there. Wasn't exactly super fun with what happened, so, you know. Oh, fucking shit. Come on, just lay down. Thank you. I still think we may have overshrunk it a little bit and, like. Super chat, what were some of the tips that made it better the third time? We just kind of talked about it. <laughs> Let me get the heat gun up here and we'll polish this up and I think we'll be okay. <laughs> you guys never know. Uh, Sean, Sean Taylor, thank you for the five. Okay, so what we, we'll go over it on the other side, but what we ended up doing was cutting it short a little on that leading edge, the big long straight edge. And then we shifted it in, in that overlap, it just all kind of worked out. Does this super chat ever scare you? No, I actually don't hear it. I still have to sort out my audio. You guys hear it, I don't. So we gotta heat this guy out. Little guy right here. God damn, does this dry out quick or what? Oh, it probably got air in it, that's why. There's this little, little crease in it. Let me get this guy to come out. Definitely not an easy, easy project though. This takes time. It went better the second time, but. Do you ever let customers hang out and watch? Here and there. 
I don't really, uh, here I don't really object to it because of all the live streaming that we do. It's something that used to drive me a little crazy, but I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. The thing that made me always really self-conscious was, was the amount of water that I was using on the doors. But you cover up some doors. You feel a little better about it. Shit. You really need a side swipe, I think, in there. So just warm this up a little bit. Don't boil it. Ceramic? No. <laughs> Must be pretty clean. Yeah, rewind a little bit and you'll see how much shit we cleaned out of it. It's just years of buildup. We're getting it though. It wasn't really hard to shrink. It was just different. There's not much that needs to be shrunk. It's just where to shrink and how much because you're trying to get it to line up just right. And then you have that like, if I had like a big area for all this water to like rush out of, then I wouldn't have to like sit here and like try and dry these little sections out. Even then I could kind of like let them sit for a little bit and come back. So. We're just mostly getting it down, making sure that everything looks like it's gonna line up. And then we'll finish it off. Cause like we curved, curved it just a little bit too much here and just a little bit too much down at the bottom. Not enough right on this edge though. But looks like we done it. Shit, that turned out nice. Yay! We did one boat window. Son of a bitch. Oh, holy shit. How much for two and a semi? Oof, I'd want to see a picture, but probably more. <laughs> that was heavy. Where can we get that dash towel? Uh, I don't know. Where does he sell them? Uh, Optima window film towel, but it's uh, from uh, Korea windowtinner.com I'm sure some of you guys have maybe seen his videos did we trim back the seals not really we more tucked it than anything
All right, we're gonna call that. We're gonna let it sit for like a little while. Let those edges kind of dry out. And then we'll come back and we'll polish it up. But we're doing, doing pretty well here. So then this is the middle window. This would be much more straightforward, right? Just a lot of like flushing and then peel and stick. And then we got another one of these bad boys. Ooh. Ooh, buddy. I did a boat once and I'm never doing one again. <laughs> Look at that. That looks dark. Dark and tinted. <laughs> Daniel. Daniel Reyna, thank you. I appreciate it. This thing is soaked now. All right, one second here. Let me, uh, it's 8.30. I'm gonna message the guy. <laughs> Where's my, da 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 da. Okay, cool. Let me uh, let me make a phone call right quick. I'm calling. Hello, this is Joe. Hey, Joe. It's Matt. <laughs> this is a fun project. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, so I'm doing this boat, and I know you've seen everything that's going on. My question to you is, is it cool if I get this done by, like, Thursday? Okay. <laughs> this, <laughs> yeah, the, it turned out much better. It was one of those, like, like you saw, it's one of those things where you're like, you got to spend a lot of time to figure it out if you haven't done it. And then once you do... It tends to go a little quicker, but we're pretty late today. Oh, you're not going to take it out on the ice water? Okay. <laughs> okay, I figured. It's also one of those like personal things for me to try and make it look as good as I can, so. All right. Okay, I appreciate it. I'll have it done for you then. All right, see ya. <laughs> okay, um, so we're going to call the stream today. I normally would be here. Sancho, stop being so cute. <laughs> Thanks for the five. Um, so I wanted to kind of finish it, but that one took so many tries. Um, we're going to come back to it, and we're going to finish this later. So we're going to have a part two to this, and we'll be able to knock out that side a little bit faster. Um, I have family stuff i got to attend to, too. So I, I just I thought this one might go a little bit quicker on this side, but... You guys got to see the pain and the struggle of getting this far. Um, but we'll be back. We'll stream the rest of it for sure. Um, it'll be done in the next couple days. So a uh, big shout out to all the Super Chats. And I'm really sorry, too, because YouTube, they used to give me this really long list of all the Super Chats, and they stopped doing that. I don't know why they stopped doing that, um, but they only show me, like, the last three. The last three or four. So, uh, big shout out to all the super chats. LKB, Brian, 
uh, Daniel, Reyna, Brian, Don, Joey, <laughs> Captain Joey, uh, Sean, Daniel, Sancho, and anybody else. I think T-Jet was in there too. And anybody else that I miss, I'm really sorry. Thank you for all the support. I greatly appreciate it. Where do you get that dash towel? Hmm. Um, hang out. Just check in the Facebook group because what I'm going to do is try and tag it if I can. Um, so best way, I, I pinned the Facebook group link too, and that's in the description. So hang out in the Facebook group. Uh, he, the guy hangs out in there too. So I might make a post. Uh, it, it's uh, uh, Brian Park. He, uh, the Korean window tenor, koreanwindowtenor.com. Uh, he's pretty well known there. So check out there. Um, cause I don't have a direct link. I'll see if I can pull one up for next time though, for sure. Uh, but thank you guys for hanging out. Glad, hope you enjoyed this much of the struggle. We'll be back. We'll finish it up, make it look a hundred and, uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye. Wednesday for sure. Wednesday, Wednesday or Friday. No, Wednesday or Thursday for sure. So. Bye-bye.